here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work is going to come before the belief, which means you're going to have to work for a long time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. Because if you really want motherfuckers to believe in you, go out and build something great. What a grasp the mind would have if we could always hold the victorious attitude toward everything. Sweeping past obstacles and reaching out into the energy of the universe, it would gather to itself material for building a life in its own image. To be a conqueror in appearance, in one's bearing, is the first step toward success. It inspires confidence in others as well as in oneself. Walk, talk, and act as though you were a somebody, and you are more likely to become such. Move about among your fellow men as though you believe you are a man of importance. Let victory speak from your face and express itself in your manner. Carry yourself like one who is conscious he has a splendid mission, a grand aim in life. Radiate a hopeful, expectant, cheerful atmosphere. In other words, be a good advertisement of the winner you are trying to be. Far too many of you worry way too much about other people and not enough about your fucking selves. When you spend your energy focusing on what other people are doing instead of executing on your own opportunities, you are setting yourself up to fucking fail time and time again. And this goes against what society is, right? Society is all about gossip. It's all about talk. It's all about who's doing what. And it's never about worrying about what you're doing. That's why you don't see successful people hanging out with people like that. Doubts, fears, despondency, lack of confidence will not only give you a way in the estimation of others and brand you as a weakling, a probable failure, but they will react upon your mentality and destroy your self-confidence, your initiative, your efficiency. They are telltales proclaiming to everyone you meet that you are losing out in the game of life. A triumphant expression inspires trust, makes a favorable impression. A despondent, discouraged impression creates distrust, makes an unfavorable impression. If you don't look cheerful and appear and act like a winner, nobody will want you. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. And you gotta get to the point where there's no other human that wants your success for you more than you want it for you. In 2022, stop trying. Whatever your hand find to do, execute, execute, execute. Every man will turn a deaf ear to your plea for work. No matter if you are jobless and have been out of work for a long time, you must keep up a winning appearance, a victorious attitude, or you will lose the very thing you are after. The world has little use for whiners or long-faced failures. It is difficult to get very far away from people's estimate of us. A bad first impression often creates a prejudice that is impossible afterwards wholly to remove. Hence the importance of always radiating a cheerful, uplifting atmosphere. An atmosphere that will be a commendation instead of a condemnation. Not that we should deceive by trying to appear what we are not. But we should always keep our best side out, not our second best or our worst. Our personal appearance is our show window where we insert what we have for sale and we are judged by what we put there. The victorious idea of life, not its failure side, its disappointed side, the triumph, not the thwarted ambition side, is the thing to keep ever uppermost in the mind, for it is this that will lead you to the light. You have to begin to fortify yourself. You have to begin to consciously monitor your inner conversation and start talking to yourself. Start building yourself up. Sometimes the only good things you will hear about you are the things that you say to you. Start building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. Start saying, I can do this. I can make this happen. When I start trying to convince myself I can be a businessman after flopping and failing and losing thousands of dollars and feeling stupid and dumb and having people take advantage of me because of what I didn't know, I had to talk to myself because people were saying to me that I was dumb. And somewhere in the back of my mind, I was saying, you're right, look at what I've done. I had to say, no, 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 Les. Hey, hey, come on, man, get yourself together. You can handle this, you just haven't figured it out yet. 
It's all right. This is your training period. This is the tuition you have to pay for what you don't know. You can do this. Other people have done it. It doesn't take an Einstein. Change the way you see yourself and begin to tend to the personal details. Understand that nobody's going to take care of your business better than you. You must give the impression that you are a success or that you have qualities that will make you successful that you are making good or no recommendation or testimonial however strong will counteract the unfavorable impression you make so much of our progress in life depends upon our reputation upon making a favorable impression upon others that it is of the utmost importance to cultivate mental forcefulness it is the mind that colors the personality gives it its tone and character if we cultivate willpower decision positive instead of negative thinking we cannot help making an impression of masterfulness and everybody knows that this is the qualification that does things it is masterfulness force that achieves results and if we do not express it in our appearance people will not have confidence in our achieving ability you've got to work on yourself you've got to develop yourself you've got to talk to yourself day in and day out selling yourself on you and on your potentials stay focused don't listen to nobody what's on your mind just do it because what's destined for you, you gonna get it. Never say or do anything which will show the earmarks of a weakling, of a nobody, of a failure. Never permit yourself to assume a poverty-stricken attitude. Never show the world a gloomy, pessimistic face, which is an admission that life has been a disappointment to you instead of a glorious triumph. Never admit by your speech, your appearance, your gait, your manner, that there is anything wrong with you Hold up your head, walk erect, look everybody in the face. No matter how poor you may be or how shabby your clothes, whether you are jobless, homeless, friendless even, show the world that you respect yourself, that you believe in yourself, and that no matter how hard the way, you are marching on to victory. Show by your expression that you can think and plan for yourself, that you have a forceful mentality, the victorious triumph attitude will put you in command of resources which a timid, self-depreciating failure attitude will drive from you. The spirit in which you face your work, in which you grapple with the difficulty, the spirit in which you meet your problem, whether you approach it like a conqueror with courage, a vigorous resolution and firmness, or with timidity, doubt, fear, will determine whether your career will be one grand victory or a complete failure. It is a great thing so to carry yourself wherever you go that when people see you coming, they will say to themselves, here comes a winner, here comes a man who dominates everything he touches. Thinking of yourself as habitually lucky will tend to make you so, just as thinking of yourself as habitually unlucky and always talking about your failures and your cruel fate will tend to make you unlucky. The attitude of mind which your thoughts and convictions produce is a real force which builds or tears down. The habit of always seeing yourself as a fortunate individual, the feeling grateful for just being alive, for being allowed to live on this beautiful earth and to have a chance to make good, will put your mind in a creative, producing attitude. 